This video is just a short extract from the entire course. If you wish to see all of the videos from this series at higher quality and in far larger screen size, head over to ifskills.com. In this lesson, we're going to continue to discuss character formatting. If you'd like to follow along, go under the File menu to Open, and in the Sample Files folder, scroll down to 0605 custom underline and strike through magic and just click open. Let's start with the more commonly used underlines. And there's a problem with underlines. Default underlines, not only in InDesign, but in any layout or word processing program, are way too heavy for the type and also too close to the baseline of the type. In InDesign, there's a way to actually fix this. I'm going to select this underlined word, and you can see in the control panel, an underline button is actually highlighted. Now, how do I get to underline options to customize the look of my underline so it looks better? Well, I could go under the options menu of my character panel. I'm just going to pull my character panel out so we'll be able to see what's going on. And I'm going to click on the Options menu. Now I could select Underline Options. There's a faster way to get to your Underline Options. If you hold down your Option key on a Mac, Alt on a PC, and just click on the Underline button, it's going to open Underline Options. And you can see it's telling me that Underline has been turned on. Let me uncheck that and you can see it's off. If nothing's happening in your dialog box, make sure to check preview. Now, the weight, as I mentioned, is too heavy. This is the default weight in the weight field. I could tell it's the default because anytime a default is being used, it's in parentheses. So, if it's too heavy, let me just click the down arrow to the left of the field and you can see it got lighter. Now, offset. Offset with underlines is a little hard to understand at first. But if you remember that everything that has to do with type starts at the baseline of the type and goes up or down from there. Now, because we're talking about underlines, if you want it to move further under the word, you're going to use a greater number. So I'm going to click my up arrow to make this number higher. And you can see it moved down. So it's offsetting it further under the word. That's why it's a positive number. We'll talk about some of these other settings further into the lesson. I'm just going to click OK. Now, if I was planning on using my custom underlines again and again, one of the things I would want to do is to set up something called the character style. Now, I know we haven't talked about styles yet, but we will be in upcoming lessons. For now, I'm just going to go under my options menu of the character styles panel and choose new character style. And all I have to do is name it. How about underline? And I have it applied to the selection. You can see that's checked and it's also previewed. And if I click someplace else, you'll see that now it does say underline and it's actually highlighted. I'm going to click OK. What's so great about having a style? Let me select some other words and just click on that style. I don't have to remember anything about the settings. All I have to do is go through it once, save it as a style, and use it again and again. What about strike throughs? Let me zoom in just a little bit closer here and select the word that has a strike through going through it. And you can see in the control panel, the strike through button is actually highlighted. Now, to get to options or alternatives for strike throughs, Hold down my Option or Alt key and click on that button. Much faster than going under the Options menu of the Character panel. I think the strike through by default is a little bit heavy for the type. Let me click my down arrow. So now I'm at one point. And Offset, Strike Throughs start at the baseline and with a positive offset move up. Strike Throughs are above the baseline, usually. At least that's what the default is. And if I increase this number, it's going to move further up. If I decrease the offset, 
Let me move it down so it's kind of going through the center of the lowercase letters. That looks a lot better. Let me just click OK. And of course, if I was going to use this again and again, I would save it as a character style. That now that we're kind of into custom underlines and strike throughs, why don't we have some fun with it? Like, I wonder if there's a way to take an underline and turn it into a highlight, almost like highlighted text in a book that you would do with a highlighting pen. Well, let me click on my underline in the control panel. You have to make sure that you're in the character formatting controls to do this. And I'm going to option or all click on that highlighted underline button. So now I'm in the underline options or alternatives, and I'm going to make this a lot heavier because a highlight needs to cover the entire height of the letters. So how big should I make it? Well, it says the type is actually 29 points, so it has to be something greater than that. And I also want it to go a little bit further up and down from the total height of the word. So let me just select weight. And how about I start with 34 points to see what that looks like? Well, it's kind of hard to tell what it looks like. Let me change the color of the highlight. I'm going to make it yellow. Well, now it's easier to see, but that's kind of a bright yellow. So let me just tint it down to, let's say, 50%. Well, that looks better, but it's hanging out down towards the bottom because it is an underline. In order to move an underline out from under the type, I want to move it up, obviously. Underlines are usually under the type. The further under the baseline it needs to be, the higher this number would be. So I actually have to use a negative offset. Let me click my down arrow. If nothing is happening, make sure to check preview and continue clicking that down arrow. So it's moving the underline up from under the baseline by using a negative number. Now, some other things that I have here, like the type of stroke that's being used, we'll talk about that a little bit later. I'm just going to click OK. And I'm going to go under the Options menu of my Character Panel, New Character Style, and save a character style called Highlight. and then. I'm just going to click OK. And you can see it's actually been applied. Let me select some other word and click my highlight character style. And you can see how much easier it makes the process of formatting. Complex character formatting makes it really simple. Let's talk about one more thing. What if I was working on an annual report and underneath each column of numbers I needed to show a grand total? Well, that involves both a custom strike through and a custom underline. Let me select the total at the bottom of my next column. And I'm going to click on underline and strike through in my control panel. Now I need to customize those settings. Why don't we start with underline? I'm going to option or all click on the underline button to open the underline options dialog window. Well, the weight I'm going to need to make heavier. So why don't I go up to, how about five points? And the offset, let me click off of that to apply it. And you can see it's a lot heavier. The offset, I want to move it further down. I want it to look like this one. So I'm going to click my up arrow because I want it to be further under the text. Just remember that underlines, to move them further under, you need to have a positive offset. Now, what else do I need to do? Well, what type of stroke do I want to use? By default, it's using a solid stroke, not what I want in this case. I want something called thin, thin. So let me do that. I'm going to go under that pop-up menu to thin, thin. Looks pretty good. Let me click OK and now do the same thing with my strike through. Option or all click on my strike through to get to the strike through options. And I'm going to make it a lot heavier. I want to make it the same weight as the underline. So I'm going to make it five. Now, in terms of offset, I need to move it 
further up and strike throughs a positive number moves it further and further up away from the baseline. I want to apply a different type of stroke, so I'm going to choose again thin thin, just like for the underline, and click OK. Now that I have this, you can bet that I'm going to set up a character style by going under the options menu of the character style panel and just naming this total and clicking OK. So now if I need a total someplace else, let me select some other number and let me click on total. And you can see it did apply that look that I want for my total. We're going to continue to discuss character formatting in the next lesson.